G'day, and my name's Liv, and I don't speak like that at all. G'day, and my name is Juicy. And today, I'm joined by a cheap American invitation. <clears throat> and no, I'm not talking about my boyfriend, Gage. Oh, do you talk about me? No, it's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Outback Steakhouse. Today, we're trying Outback Steakhouse for the first time. I've had it before. I haven't. <laughs> Why are you crying like a big, fat fucking baby? She hates Outback Steakhouse. As far as I'm aware, you've been enjoying a good old tasty Australian for almost four years now. That is true. I have. <laughs> <laughs> and in true American fashion, this meal is 6,000 calories. 6,000. And uh, you'll never guess what the highest calorie item is. Oh, is it the blooming onion? It's the fucking onion. One onion is more calories than any of these. Somehow America made the highest calorie item an onion. We're gonna get down to the bottom of it today. You've tainted the vegetables. Bug is crying right now because this is a freaking crime against nature. It says that it's an Australian restaurant. All of the items on the menu are Australian themed or named. And today I'm putting it to the test for the rest of you Australians. We don't have that good of a uh, national anthem. Just play um, no, Land Down no. Under for like 0 0.3 seconds so I don't get no, demonetized. No, 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 I'm excited because I get to eat free Outback. We have a bloomin' onion. Shrimp on the barbie. A Tim Tam. Wait, let me do that with gusto. Shrimp on the barbie. Shrimp on the barbie. Yeah. We decided to put our shrimp on the barbie on top of a steak. Currently it is on top of a giant piece of garlic bread. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna remove two of them. Oh, prawns, by the way. Prawns. No, it's shrimp on the barbie. It's not prawns on the barbie. Prawns that sounds, on the that barbie. That sounds so stupid. To honor this momentous occasion, I have put the outback in our most beautiful crockery yes just uh, kind of you know saucing it up a bit we didn't have the um big old koala nuts to actually go into an outback steakhouse and film there because that would have been very cringe and i am not one of the paul brothers i don't even know what counts as australian food because we don't have like australian cuisine yeah, you do this is all australian cuisine oh this is all australian i'll see about that Oh wow, that food looks delicious. Almost as good as the food that you could be making with today's sponsor, HelloFresh. And Bug thinks so too. For those of you that don't know, Gage and I actually use HelloFresh. HelloFresh is actually what helped us get into cooking. What started as a task quickly became our favorite daily shared time together. Whilst also trying new and exciting seasonal foods. It was actually really fun picking what we get to eat every week. HelloFresh lets you easily customize your delivery from week to week with lifestyle options to suit your needs, like fresh and wholesome, family friendly, quick and easy, vegetarian, and more. With our busy and constantly changing schedules, we needed something to be able to make changes to our food. HelloFresh makes sure to tailor to your schedule by letting you adjust your delivery date and even skip weeks when you know that you're not going to be able to cook at home. I've personally always really struggled with portion control and if you're in the same boat I'd really genuinely suggest giving HelloFresh a try. You can choose from 30 plus calorie and protein smart recipes each week. It's affordable, it's packed with fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right at your doorstep. Support the channel by clicking the link in the description below and using code LIVSEP10. I took a little bit of time off recently because there was a lot happening in mine and Gage's personal lives. So I didn't post for a while and I really apologize for that. But every purchase from HelloFresh this month is directly helping me create better and more consistent content. And for that, I'm really thankful. And when you try HelloFresh this month, you'll get free breakfast for life. You can start your day right with one free breakfast item per box while your subscription is active if you're in the US. And if you're outside of the US, the local discount will apply. Once again, thank you to HelloFresh so much for sponsoring and let's get back into the video. Course number one, Bloomer. An onion. Oh, starting off with the, the best. Yeah. All right. I've heard a lot about this. We don't have this in Australia and we don't eat this what in Australia. What are you trying? You invented this. This is like a national cuisine. This is the Outback Steakhouse item. This is what they're known for is the Yeah, it's onion. the Outback Steakhouse item. It's definitely not the Australian. You're telling me a bloomin' onion is not Australian? You're telling me a shrimp bloomed this onion? But there's someone shrimped on this barbary? Wait, wait, wait! Oh, look at that! The we, blooming onion. We crushed it under my crockery lid. I'm gonna get this properly ready. Okay. The sauce, by the way, is 
necessary. Oh, like okay. It's a part of the experience is the sauce. Okay. I'm going to take it out of the equation that this is going to be a little bit mushy Soggy. and yeah. yeah, not crispy. They're normally really crispy. And everything is fucking cold. You use your fingers for this. I don't know if I want to touch that. You have to. It, nobody uses a fork and knife for a blooming onion. You're Australian. This is Australian food. You should know that. But I'm also beautiful. Dabbling in the spectrum. You it's very over sensory. You haven't tried. You can't knock it if you haven't tried it. I know I won't like touching it. Dip it. Oh, if this came out crispy. It's really good, right? I like it, I like it. Can I please have my, my fork now? I just kind of fucked up, but yeah. Enjoy ah! it. Can I enjoy this in the non-traditional way? I fucking love blooming onions. It's really I was like good. properly obsessed with blooming onions growing up. Mm. This has full to do with Australia, but I like it. Are you sure you guys didn't invent the blooming onion? I am pretty sure. How crazy is this? Mm. Huh? It's very good. You know what's funny? It's just one one onion. Really? It's one onion. Can we give it a go? Absolutely. There's just something insane and so delicious and American about making one onion 1,600 calories. And if you're Australian watching, you've never had a blooming onion. For one, I question if you're Australian. But two, you need to fly to America and try it. Would you say this is worth a plane ticket? I don't know about that, but I think if you are in the country, it's worth giving it a go. I like it. I'm fucking with the blooming onion. Nine crikeys out of 10. Really? Yeah. It's, you like it that much? Yeah, it's, oh, it's good. The batter is um very flavorful. Yeah. The sauce is very flavorful. Or it's a big onion. It's a big fucking onion. It's a big fucking onion. I've got to stop eating the onion, otherwise I'm I'm venturing into Nikocado avocado territory. I'm not gonna stop eating the onion. Nikocado two years ago territory. I don't know. I feel like I'm a bit biased though because I will just eat a whole raw onion. Like that's just me. That's true. Like onions are one of my favorite things. Didn't you used to eat onions like apples? Yeah. You get very creative when you're broke. Palate cleanser, Starbucks cup. <laughs> I dubbed it a nine because this has absolutely cool to do with Australia. I don't know if I can believe that, Lovey. I trust Outback Steakhouse, and I don't think that they would lie to me. And for our next course, cat on the barbie. <laughs> Cat'n on the barbie, mate. I've been fattening her up for almost a year now. I think it's about time for us to eat her. Let the onion I take you. I can't stop. It's like crack. Let the onion take you away. Like, what do they put in this shit? Fentanyl. Gotta... Mm. Ah! Next course. Please. I don't want it to be over. It's time for a classic. It started the misconception. Do you know the story of this? No, I'm no, not no. super convinced that I do either. I'm just gonna start talking shit. Ooh, making it up. Yes. Spreading misinformation. On the internet. Shrimp on the Barbie. I'm pretty sure it came from an ad that we made in Australia to get American tourists. So instead of saying prawn on the Barbie. Because we would have had no clue. No what idea about. what we were talking about, yeah. So we decided to call it shrimp on the Barbie and it stuck and now you guys think that we eat shrimp on the barbie and we do not even call them that. What do you eat on the barbie? Who's barbie? Hi prawns on the barbie. Yeah, and how you going Ken? <laughs> I made um, lamb the other day, and it's really incredibly difficult to find in America. You guys don't really be eating lamb. Mm -mm. The one thing about Americans, mm. and I think we're the worst, as far as I can tell, out of any country. Yep, correct, that is true. There's more to that. Nope. We are like chicken tendy kids. Yeah. For the most part, like there is a lot of like interesting stuff to eat, but for the, for the most part of the average American, it's like pork, beef, chicken, very much chicken tendy kids, no organ meat. We're very picky. I thought the, yeah! would be loving something gamey. Yeah, I feel like uh, th there's gonna be people in the comments who are like, oh yeah, what? My family ate lamb all the time growing up. You're, you're weird, all right? My family ate lamb all the time growing up, but that is not normal. I still meet people who have never had lamb before. I think that is a result of propaganda, actually. I think we've had like big lamb campaigns that have really like amazing ads. So then Australians buy lamb. Really? I would say the main difference between Australian barbecue and American barbecue, Americans really fuck with sauces. Like mm. I think you guys get kind of low quality cuts of meat you and then the suck the, the out, out of it. Absolutely. Whereas Australians have like no, barely any seasoning, nothing to like smother it with. It's really good quality meat, so it doesn't really need it. You smother a pile of, a plate of toenails with sweet baby raisin, it would be delicious. With that being said, it's time to take marsh meat. There's an option to try shrimp on the barbie on top of meat, but the traditional is on a garlic bread. So I'm gonna put two of the shrimp on top of the shmeat and 
eat one of them on the garlic bread. Oh, it looks like a love heart. It's two little gay shrimp and they're in love, but they're in their in their gay. Oxford Street shrimp. They both have penises. You know what annoys me? You know what really fucking annoys me, actually? Yeah, I knew you are gonna hit me with this. This pisses me off everywhere I go. Mm. It's not just America, it's like everywhere in the fucking world. I yeah. don't understand it. Why do they leave the tails on the fucking shrimp? Get in any scenario, there's no flavor to the tail. Mm. There's no reason to leave it on. It doesn't hold the shrimp together. There's no- I think there is actually more flavor in the tail. Mm -mm. It's just an extra step when I'm going to enjoy my, my the, the shrimp that are on my Barbie. I gotta pull the tails off. Because they take the rest of the shell off. You know what this looks like? What? A brick of weevil hardtack. What? Someone translate that. Weevil hardtack for dinner again? Hmm. It's yummy. Mm. Something about making garlic bread like a dark bread. Mm. It's really good. Bold. I like it. Daring even. Mm. Oh, you feel like I'm gonna throw up from how much blue I eat. I'm gonna give it seven shrimps on the Bobby out of ten. Mm. They have really good shrimp. If you're on the, like, in the lagoon right now. Which one? If you're in the lagoon. Okay. And you would say one thing to that stingray, what would you say? Oh. One you have when you can say one thing, what would you say to that stingray? Probably that. I think that's illegal. I don't think you're allowed to do that. That's weird. That's too far. Some would say not far enough. That's too far. Meat time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you remember the name of the steak? Did, this, did the steak have like a pseudo Australian no. name? The steak didn't, no. It was like steak or something. There are other items on the menu that are Australian names. The meat feels very tender in my fingertips. Does it? Feels very, very nice. Oh, it looks good actually. Yeah. It looks Perfectly like it's been cooked, cooked very well. The blooming onion is infecting my brain. Clink! Mm. <laughs> We're morphing into the same person. Mm hmm. There's some quality meat. Yeah. Coming out of that, Beck. I'm actually impressed. This is, um,. This is good. We'll see a little bit more on the bland side. That also could be because my taste buds are freaking shot from the alien substance that is that blooming onion that mm. I just put in my freaking mouth. I feel like going from the blooming onion to another food is like going from like scientifically engineered like super heroin yeah, to yeah. like smoking a cigarette. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like it's kind of like fucked up my taste buds. I'm actually impressed. It's not as good a quality as Australian meat, but it's, it's good. It's good. It's not as shit as I'm used to having in America. Mm. And it's pretty good quality for a chain restaurant too. Yeah. Yeah. Want to try some sides? What if we ate the whole bloomin' onion instead? Not that one. Just an idea. No. How about we try some sides after we eat the bloomin' onion? We can come back to the bloomin' onion at the end. These sides don't have any fun Australian names either. Rice on the prairie. We don't have those. Veggies on the beach. <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking seasonal vegetables fucking on the seasonal beach. seasonal vegetables on the table. The rice is really good. It's got little doodads and things in it. I mean, it's got stuff that's yummy and it tastes good and it's got flavor there that's also good. This is delicious rice. My favorite type of rice that's coming to America is this dirty ass fucking dirty yeah. bitch rice. Dirty, dirty, dirty bitch rice that just has a bunch of random shit in it. Yeah, but as un-Australian as you can get. What? We would never put bell peppers, capsicum, to those of you who are like refined. Like 10 people that would even know what capsicum means. Yeah, we, we would never put capsicum in, in rice. Why don't you guys live a little? Why don't you get a little crazy, huh? It was wrong. I think you guys need to experiment a little bit, all right? Someone looked at an onion and said, look it, and they deep fried the whole onion. That's on par with the first guy who discovered milk. It's like the same, that's like the same level of crackhead uh, energy right there. You know, the first guy that discovered milk looked at a giant fucking animal in the woods, a yeah. cow, and was like, I'm gonna suck on its titty. That guy's a freak. That's... Pretty wild, right? These sides are both good. Um, mm. These sides are both good. Vegetables are busting. But not Australian in any way, shape, or form. So they can get just like a four. Four score and seven veggie might later. <laughs> four four ve stingrays and seven Steve Irwins later. We forgot to rate the meat. Seven out of ten. I'll give the meat six and a half flip flops on the beach. Wait, don't you guys call them thongs? Oh, yeah. Whoa, you've been here too long. Uh, you just call them flip flops. Are you even certified uh, to do this video? Uh, Boom.
Okay, so what is what what uh, what all is this? It's got tomatoes, uh, onions, blue cheese, balsamic vinegar. Taste. That's a big word for our mouth. What and bacon. It? Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god. Mm. Oh! Good uh, salad. I don't know if it's to do with the fact that we've Uber Eats it and it's, a lo it's lost a bit of its crunchiness or whether it's just American vegetables, but I know this would be slightly fresher in Australia. That sounds like a whole lot of cap, whole lot of cap all right? It's the truth, but it's good. Looks like the Wiggles. <laughs> I've never seen the Wiggles. Yeah, that's a yummy salad. It's got the little funky cheese in it. It's got the balsamic and the... Oh, I've seen the Wiggles about as close up as you can see them. Because Greg was a fan of my dad's. Who the fuck is Greg? Uh, Yellow Wiggle. <laughs> Why do you just know that? I got to meet them. And then Greg asked a four-year-old me whether I liked the show. And, and I said no. I disrespected Greg, all while wearing a Dorothy the Dinosaur tail. Whoa. Yeah. Greg I would like to like apologize a... to the Wiggles. You're goaded. This is a, yeah, this salad fucks. Yeah, I fucked this salad really hard. Six, six and a half pink kangaroos out of maybe 10 pink kangaroos. I give it. No, not six and a half. That's a crazy score. Yeah. Seven and a half. Eight dingoes who ate my baby. What do you think, Bug? Controversial, but I have to agree. We've got to speed this thing up because I am intolerant to all this food and I don't want to fart on camera today. Give us some, I want an Australian like folklore tale, some sort of story. You got one about like a koala bear. Oh, I have a fun, fun one for you. There was a koala outside of Josh's house. That was crazy. That we saw at 2 a.m. And it was up the tiniest tree like barely even a tree. We were within like this amount of distance to it. Like were you on FaceTime with me? Yeah. Yeah. We were so close to this koala. It scurries down the tree and like jumps, like at us. It ran straight at Josh. Yeah. And I watched it run straight at Josh and start chasing him. Yeah. And I thought it was about to be like a live leak video. Yeah. He was a fat freaking koala. He was huge. He was like the size of like a small, like, or I'd say like a medium-sized dog. Yeah. He's a big boy. I think my sister got kicked over by a kangaroo when she was a baby. <gasps> Is there any, like, permanent injury from that? To the head? Yes. I, I personally would like to think so. It would explain a lot. I have a fun lead-in to the next meal. The next main is called Tasmanian Shrimp and Scallop Pasta. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds really good. Yeah. That sounds and... really, really... <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited. What was I going to say? You were going to say... No. I haven't taken you to Tasmania yet. Is that people f their sisters? It's like the Alabama of Australia. That's all yes. I've heard about Tasmania. Yes, it is. And it's funny because that's the only context I have and I've met people who are like, oh, I'm from Tassie. Yeah. And all I think is like, sister f***er, sister f***er. Yeah. They probably think I don't know that because I'm American. Well, I know. I know what you did. If you're watching, you're from Tasmania. I know what you did. I know who you did. I know he did. Tasmania is actually really beautiful. I want to I've take heard, you there. I've heard it's like really beautiful. The perfect setting. I heard it's cousin. like the perfect setting. Yeah. To you, your cousin. Yeah. There's this um, zoo down there called Zoodoo, and it's it's basically like, who was that guy that had all the alligators and he was like killing them and. Tiger King. Oh, there were tigers and alligators. This? Yeah. Tiger King. It's <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just tigers. It's Tiger King adjacent. It's like, how is this legal? I don't think there's a lot of safety protocol here. It might be better now, but I went like 20 Carol years ago. Carol Baskins did it. Don't say that too loud. We're in Florida, she'll come kill us. But yeah, long story short, I remember being like five or something and just being in the back of a truck and getting chased by emus. That's a fun memory. Was it a fun memory or a scary thing? A bit of both. Because I feel like that would be, that would be fun. With that being said, on to the next meal. Oh, oh that looks crazy. And they left their tails on the f***ing shrimp! Prawns. Look at this. Look at what they have me over here doing. This is crazy. Like a caveman. You know, we went to the f***ing moon, allegedly, but I'm still sitting here picking the shrimp tails off my f***ing shrimp. This looks and smells amazing. When the... Uh, Dari hits your lungs like a big fucking bum. That's Samore. That was really good. Holy shit. Did you make that up? Yeah, I did. What? Nobody's gonna know what you just said. I know. Ding ding. Like, I can taste the cardiovascular disease in an early grave. Mm -hmm. But it's busting. But it's good. Yeah. It's worth it. This is like exactly what I'd order if I went there too. Mm -hmm. I got. I'm the king of fucking scallops. All right. So you did me... what to a scallop? <laughs> <laughs> 
Those are really good scallops. And you would know. Scallops are really like my favorite food. Scallops and lobsters, and I think most seafood, are the, are, they have a similar trait, mm. where the smaller they are, the more flavor, flavorful they are. Whoa, you almost had an Australian flavor. You said I know, flavor. I caught myself up. Flavor. If you get like a colossal lobster tail, mm. it's not nearly as good as just a small lobster mm. tail. Small scallops like this are like way sweeter. Yeah, I agree. Than big scallops. Yeah, they're really good. The pasta, perfect. The pasta is very nice. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite thing I've had. Mm. It's because it's all your favorite things in a meal. Yeah, I genuinely feel like I'm gonna throw up. But the food's great. I just haven't ate as much food in a long time. You love pasta, you love mushrooms, you love tomatoes, you love scallops. Yeah, this is 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. I don't think anything could make this better. It's a little bit spicy, it's delicious, mm -hmm. it's buttery, mm -hmm. it's saucy. If I had this fresh, with like fresh parsley on the top. Yeah, this fresh would have been insane. Mm. Like you get off the paper shredder. You're gonna get shredded. 10 Steve Irwin's out of 10 Harold Holtz. Whoa. <laughs> I give this eight and a half budgie smugglers out of 10. What the fuck is a budgie smuggler? You don't wanna know. It's a, it's a boy G string. Budgie smuggler. <laughs> so there was an option to pick a dessert that was called like the down under or something like that? Uh, was that what it, wonder down under. There was an option for wonder, a dessert. Wonder from down under. It involved ice cream. Yeah. And that can't be sent on Uber Eats. So I settled for this. The Tim Tam chocolate brownie. Tim Tam chocolate brownie. The Tim Tam chocolate brownie. I love Tim Tams. Mm. I like chocolate. I like brownies. I'm not a huge chocolate person. I think you'll like this more than me. I am a big chocolate person. Um, I love chocolate. I've ate so much Outback. I'm, wow, the consistency is really interesting. It's very soft and gooey. Considering that this mm. has been sitting here for like at least an hour. It's not meant to be this consistency, but it's got chocolate and peanut butter mousse on top. Oh my God. It's very soft and gooey. Yeah. You know what else is soft and gooey probably? The, co uh, the koalas, cheers. Mm. Hmm. It fucks. I almost wish it was less soft. Mm. I wish this was an erect dessert. Yeah, it, the flavor is amazing. It tastes like a big Reese's peanut butter cup. It does. Um, it's just too soft. Yeah. It has the consistency of whipped cream all mm. the way through. Mm -hmm. Do you know why I can't f*** with this? Peanut butter is an inherently American tasting thing. Really? Yeah. I associate peanut no, butter. You guys eat peanut butter. Yeah, but not like you guys. You guys have such shit chocolate that you flavor everything peanut butter to compensate. Yeah, and it's badass, all right? It's not compensating, it's, it's inventing. And us. What the f*** are you talking about? They go together. 50 states of yeah. No, they are literally made for each other, all right? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, buckaroo. Peanut butter and chocolate are a perfect combo made in heaven. They were made for one another. Peanut butter was made to accompany chocolate, and chocolate was invented. Wrong you think when God created Fortnite, he didn't also create chocolate and peanut butter in his image? Tim Tams. I don't know where they imported them from, but they are soggy. They've been sitting on top of the thingamabobber. I tried them when they got here. I had a little nibble. The biscuits are like, not off, but they're stale. Biscuits, by the way, everybody means the Tim Tam. Yeah. The cookie. They're, they're like a little stale. I mean, they probably had to literally come here from Australia. You, you can be Pardon the fucking cookie being flown across the world, being a little bit stale, right? I can't. I mean, I yeah, I think this all in all is like a five out of ten for me. Mm. Yeah. But I think five out of ten tastes good. That's average. It's like middle of the road. You yeah. Know? yeah. As the consistency of just whipped cream all the way through. Mm. It's like I'm chewing on a big block of flavored whipped cream with Tim Tams on top of it. Agreed. It's weird. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not good either. It's delicious. It's peanut butter and chocolate. Which is delicious because they're uh, made for each other. We went over that when God made Fortnite. Remember. My final thoughts. The Australian cuisine. Mm. Yes. Surprisingly, mm. quite good. I mm -hmm. was actually impressed. Did you think it would be shit? I thought it would be fucking terrible. Really? Yes. I think it's hard to replicate the freshness of Australian ingredients in America. Um, but it was all good quality. Not great. Oh. <sighs> We have eaten the equivalent of like two days worth of food yeah. in one meal. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I also feel like I'm gonna throw up. My favorite part was the, the my favorite part was the sandwich. I swear to God, I saw Steve Irwin pissing in the room next to me. I don't think he's actually dead. I think y'all are capping. You fucking got people feeling bad for your country and for <laughs> losing your president. I don't think he's actually <laughs> dead. With that being said, this has been an Australian Reviews Outback Steakhouse. Pretty good. 
maybe if you liked this video, you could stick around and watch this video if you liked it. Or subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. That's the thing that you could do. It would be nice if you did that. Click on, you can click on me. I got a thing, it's on me and you can click on it. I need to fart. Don't do that.